The first reading for this Sunday morning is from Isaiah. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light will rise in the darkness and your gloom will be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you will be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins will be rebuilt and shall rise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the streets to live in. If you refrain from trampling the Sabbath, the Sabbath, from pursuing your own interests on the holy day, if you call the Sabbath, the Sabbath a delight and the holy day of the Lord honorable, if you honor it, not going your own ways, serving your own interests, or pursuing your own affairs, then you shall take delight in the Lord, and I will make you ride upon the heights of the earth. I will feed you with the heritage of your ancestor Jacob, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. We'll read these verses from Psalm 103 responsibly. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forgive all God's enemies. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. O oh Lord, you have made the nation John the justice for all who are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses and your works to the children of Israel. Lord, you are full of compassion and mercy, so to anger and God and say that's all. The second reading is from Hebrews. You have not come to something that can be touched a blazing fire, and darkness, and gloom, and a tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and a voice whose words made the hearers beg that not another word be spoken to them, for they could not endure the order that was given. If even an animal touches the mountain, it shall be stoned to death. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion, and to, the holy, and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable angels in festal gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse the one who is speaking. For if they did not escape when they refused the one who warned them on earth, how much less will we escape if we reject the one who warns from heaven? At that time his voice shook the earth. But now he has promised, yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heaven. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of what is shaken, that is, created things, so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us give thanks by which we offer to God an acceptable worship with reverence and awe. For indeed, our God is a consuming fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Gospel according to St. Luke, the 13th chapter. Now Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for 18 long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When he had said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. 